How are you children? A warm and pleasant welcome to the lesson from NCIT book from Honey Circle Class 6. Name of the lesson is Who Did Patrick's Homer? Written by Carol Moore. I hope you all are interested to learn this lesson. So let's get started. This is a wonderful story which is presented magical realism which means something that is not magic but a belief and it has been presented in a very beautiful manner. A boy Patrick who gets inspired and feels propelled or motivated by an imaginary elf, a supernatural being. He is not only able to complete his homework, but rather score high grades. The story conveys the message we should never lose hope in ourselves. Self-help is the best help and always believe in yourself. Like all other children, he also did not like to do homework. He always ran away from that. Children, I think you also don't like to do the homework. But research tells that homework not only increases learning capabilities but also helps the student acquire life skills such as problem solving and goal setting. Homework also gives an opportunity to the parent to interact with their children and able to understand what they are learning at school. It has a long term positive effect on the future of the student. My dear children, I hope you understand the uses and benefits of doing homework and do the given work regularly. Let's move on to the explanation of this chapter. It is a fiction that describes imaginary event. The name of the story is Who Did Ho Patrick's Homework? It is a beautiful story about a little boy named Patrick of your age. He hated doing homework. He found it boring. Student, if you don't do your homework the next day, you will miss the link in the class and it complicates the matter. You can't understand anything. Obviously, you can't get higher grade in the exams. So, it is very important to do your homework every day. Like many of us, Patrick also used to run away from the homework. He is not at all a lazy boy. He used to play difficult outdoor games like hockey, basketball and he also likes to play video games called Nintendo. But others think that he was lazy. He is not doing his homework because he is not interested in. For him, it is boring and tiresome. His teachers warned him to do homework. If he did not do his homework, he won't learn anything. Patrick also wanted to, to do his homework. He feels like an ignorant person who lacks knowledge, but he is helpless in this regard. Patrick had a pet cat in his home. One day, he found his cat was playing with a little doll. So he took the doll from the cat and noticed what he noticed there that the thing he took was not a doll but a tiny man who was wearing a different type of cloth. He was wearing trousers, a cut short at the knee. These kind of clothes used in olden days called breeches, which rhymes with the word witches, and a woolen shirt and a tall hat with moustache, which looks like a witch. Witch is a woman who uses magic to do evil. The opposite of which is a wizard. Wizard is a man who uses magic to do evil. He was very amazed on seeing this tiny ma man. This tiny man called Elf was begging to him, Please do not give me to that cat, otherwise the cat will kill me. Save me from the cat. Patrick found an opportunity here. So he said, Okay, okay, I'll not give you to the cat. In return, you have to do some help for me. In return, the tiny man promised Patrick to fulfill his wish. So Patrick was granted a wish by this amazing creature and elf. What could Patrick wish for? What could a boy fed up with his homework wish for? Maybe you know it. Let's find out. It is difficult for Patrick to accept that he was so fortunate to get an answer for his for all his difficulties through this tiny man. So he asked him if he could do his homework through the end of the semester, that is a period of 35 days, help him score A grade. Patrick was thinking that with the elf's help, he can improve his grade. First word, let us look into some difficult words. First word is dishcloth, is a cloth used for washing dishes. Another word is hamper. Hamper is a basket usually with a lid. The next words are grimaced, scald, pursed lips, lips. These words are showing facial expressions, showing disgust, anger and disapproval. Next word is wrinkled, means slight folds on skin because of old age or 
sometimes because of anger and the next word is cursed which means ill fated is usually used to describe something annoying to you in any angry way after hearing this the little man's face give a look of cloth lying in the basket used for washing dishes as a cloth gets wrinkled during a period of time same as the gestures made by the elf he showed is a disapproval for the work by kicking the legs doubling his fists and making unhappy faces he asked if he had that much of unfortunate to do that task but promised to do the work so he, here we have this word glitch glitch means a fault in a machine that prevents it from working properly and in this prose it means glitch for a problem another word we have it here is squeaked squeaked means crying aloud and keeping his word the elf the supernatural creature started doing the work but he needed the help of patrick because it was all new he was not an expert in studies he knows nothing about tables knows nothing about human history so he says i need your help he says go get a dictionary from the library patrick gets it and he says do me a favor look at the word in the dictionary in the dictionary you know all the words are arranged in alphabetical order you have to go through the order to find the meaning of the word patrick helped him searching out the word and the elf said you have to spell out the word he tells patrick to do these things and patrick also does these things so that the homework has been done and ultimately so that he can get an a the elf knew nothing of max all concepts of max were completely strange or odd thing for him patrick was unfortunate in this matter the elf explained we elves never did this mathematical concept like addition subtraction division and multiplication so patrick has to sit to him to guide even it did not know about human history it was completely a mystery to it so it screamed at patrick to go to the library to get more books and help him to read as well actually that little creature was either troubling or complaining or nagging patrick to do something all the time patrick was not able to sleep he was awake for nights together he had never felt so tired like this before he was going to school with a dull looking eyes it was the last day of the school and the elf had complete freedom to go as there was no homework to do so without speaking anything in a secretive manner he moved out from the back door patrick scored a grade his classmates were surprised teachers appreciated him parents were trying to know what made him so perfect what had happened to him he became an exemplary child who cleaned his room himself did all his work became a happy child who is never rude to anybody children do you remember the name of the chapter the name of the chapter is who did patrick's homework now the author gives the answer in the end i would like to say that it was not the elf but patrick himself who did his work the elf just propelled him or motivated him to do everything the moral of the story is unless you do the work you cannot achieve anything so the fun is doing it planning it and achieving it students some questions and answers are given in the end of this video please note it down and learn those things children i hope you understand this lesson thank you all meet you soon again